Hello there, Scorpio, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing good. And Scorpio, in case you don't know, you are moving on to better times. Actually, ooh, there may be something here where, you know, it's like you're trying to move forward, but then we may feel a little blocked here. So you may need to, um, you know, get these things done. Uh, see things through completion or figure out how we can drop some of the burdens here. You know, I, I just feel that there may be um, a, a sense of uh, getting to the finish line as well. So let's get a little bit more with the Six of Swords, the uh, Ten of Wands. We do have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. Let's get more about this. And Scorpio, in case you don't know, how it works on this channel is that I channel out whatever spirit wants me to for however long, and it is for you, so I do hope, oh my gosh, okay, I hope you enjoy this and it resonates for you for the most part. If not, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, but you always have a choice. You, you, you can choose right now. So make yours with love. Hmm. I feel for some of you Scorpios, it might be hard for you to say no to others, demands on your time and your energy, you know, family members, friends, work, uh, co-workers, employees, you know, fellow students. I mean, I don't know, you know, <laughs> neighbors. I don't know what, what's going on in your life, right? Whatever it is, you know, the choice is yours. Be strong, be courageous. Maybe, you know, wow, I've just, Scorpio, I do feel that we might... It's kind of like the Four of Pentacles, though, that's going on with this Ten of Wands, where we, we are hugging on to something tight here. We might have a hard time letting go, right? Because maybe, yes, at once it did bring us happiness, but rest assured that, you know, it's time for you to go into a place of trouble-free existence, um, maybe not working so hard at things, okay? Okay. So choose love. You always have a choice and just make yours with love no matter what. And you'll always go in the right direction. <clears throat> hmm. And we do have this thing about relationship patterns, Scorpio. And I do feel that you're noticing something about patterns, uh, people, habits, um, in ourself, in others, whatever, right? Just in a place of just learning. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. And look... Look at how strong you are. <laughs> this is why I was getting this thing about possibly four of pentacles in a sense of like clinging on to these things, but you know you're ready for change. And that's exactly what that's exactly what you want. And you are ready. <clears throat> you know, there could be something here too where we feel like we have to carry others with us to where we want to go, right? Hmm. And that might be hard. Take it easy. Take a step back if you need to and just see where you're at first and see if you can even handle all that's going on. Right? What else? Stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. You know, I do get uh, like four of swords with this where you do need to maybe take a rest, relax here. It's like you're, you're still moving. But you might be trying to, in a sense, just take it if it resonates. Some of you, you could be trying to force it a little bit too much. Thus, it's like going against the currents, right? So you can see this. And I do feel that's what's going on here because to me, yeah, there is some choppy waters here, but it almost looks choppy on the other side as well. So it's like we're, we're forcing something when it doesn't need to be so hard, right? Or we could be... Um, you know, just pushing it and we're feeling like we're going upstream. So you can take a moment. You don't have to work so hard. Maybe there is something here about a pattern of overdoing it. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. Take a moment to really um, choose love for yourself. I really feel that you're in your king or queen of cups. Um, there's a strong sense of, you know, pride, dignity, um, caring for, a, of you know, others, a love of home, family life. Um, or just being, you know, in a place of emotional stability, contentment. And it's like you want to take all of your passions with you, but there may be something here where, where it's actually a good thing to um, sacrifice what's not necessary. 
What else for Scorpio? Love is all around you. See, you got to make room here. So some way, somehow, we got to be willing to loosen up a little bit for some of you. There's love every, all, everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. And this is where it's, what's going to set you free. You know, we, we're sailing here. And, and the cool thing is, is look, here you are trying to push it, right? When you don't need to, because somebody's back there. Your guardian is rowing the boat for you. Just sit and relax, you know, sit and relax. Whoops, there you are. <laughs> and you're, you know, I'm just really, and I was looking at, you know, your biceps here, <laughs> you know, hanging on to those rods here. Love is all around you. And really what we want to do is spread our wings and fly and dance move get your body moving here in different ways i feel that you might have been doing something or could be doing something repetitive here so it might be time to change up the physical routine <laughs> okay all right let's see what else for scorpio <clears throat> Ooh, yes we have come to a conclusion here it is ten of wands we're at a place of completion you could be done with things, right? Or realizing what you're done with. That's just, you know, too much on you. There's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself, choosing to love yourself, to give yourself some room to grow, to spread your wings. Because I do feel that you take on other people's energies too, right? And so that's the other thing about the King and Queen of Cups, you know, um, allow others to heal or grow and move around on their own accord. Know that whatever you've done, you did great, you know, with whatever is going on in that situation. I feel like we should take that. That's doing so, and that one too. That, those were like hanging out a little bit weird over here on the end of the table. Um, but we do have conclusion. So we've got chapter one because we have the end, an end to a story. Maybe like a never ending story, right? Because what seems to be kind of playing in the energies right now, Scorpio, is. The sense of really putting repetitive things to an end, right? <clears throat> truth. See your light. Know your power and have courage to walk your truth. There you are. Maybe saying no. Maybe dropping those. <clears throat> Maybe uh, asking for help and accepting it when you know you need it. Uh, follow the light of your inner compass. We were talking about, I swear I was saying something about your inner compass, okay? Um... This whole thing about being stillness, yeah, kindness, compassion, and that's going to help you lead the way. A, a more effortless, especially if you've been feeling like you've been struggling here. Now, some of you Scorpios, take it if it resonates. You might be putting too much on your plate right now to avoid opening up with something or someone new possibly. So just kind of be on the lookout for that, okay? But take your time with things. Um, yeah. So it will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. You're going where your soul needs to go, you know, in a more tranquil, peaceful, trouble-free existence. <clears throat> Something about truth and conclusion, having fairness in one's life as well. You could even be or have been demanding truth. What else for Scorpio? Oh, yeah, it's just, just get playful, especially if things have been so demanding on your time, your energy, your emotions, whatever. See the, see, you know, the lighter things of things, you know, see the lighter side of life, maybe laugh at oneself too, because <laughs> all you can do is enjoy the journey. There will be, or something going on here where, you know, you're inviting some type of excitement or maybe a new pet or a new friend or a new object of your desire. And look at these, these, the, these wands, yeah, they could be passionate desires, but they've become so heavy. So there's something else here, right? Where we feel light and playful. So, you know, play while you wait. There may be something with dancing, singing, you know, whatever, getting your body moving in a different way, because I feel some of you, not all of you, but maybe it's like doing the same physical like work or routine or something like that. And so maybe it's time to just kind of 
change it up. Now, Ten of Wands speak about burnout, overworking. So we may need to, yeah, take more time to play. Learn how to, right? We could learn a pattern about overworking. What else? <clears throat> Practice compassion and see things from, from a fresh perspective. I feel that this is like a little kitty, you know, seeing things uh, with a fresh perspective. You know, playful eyes, playful energy. So maybe that's just it. Just being in a playful energy here. See things from a fresh perspective. Maybe there's something with, you know, getting out into nature, connecting with nature, um, you know, so that we can really get into that one energy of love and compassion. Because this is really where, you know, you feel the most comfortable anyways. And you're going to be getting to know each other or something, someone here, diving deep here, <laughs> learn to meet another's need for love. So I do feel there's something about fairness and equality here. You know, knowing when to give and when to receive so it doesn't become too demanding on you or another. Be open to support. Uh, what else? Because some of you Scorpios, could, yeah, I feel that some of you are definitely in a place or maybe you just got into a zone of, you know, burying yourself in work or other things, you know, things around the house or, you know, we're working though, but we, we are ready for something different. We are ready for, you know, a more pleasurable way of living or uh, energy exchange here. We're just... Also, removing ourselves from patterns, whether it's with others or ourselves, and going after your nine and your ten of cups, which is satisfaction, happiness, right? Okay, so you are ready to move on. What else? I mean, you got two cards that, you know, and even three, well... You know, you can see that you're ready to move on with the Ten of Wands. The, okay, universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. See, love is all around you. There's something going on here with just giving into grace and gratitude. You know, just trying to no notice the things that you do love, the memories that you do cherish, you know. Uh, but don't hang on too tight either. You know, allow new memories to take fold and take hold in your heart. And give gratitude for what's to come. <clears throat> you have a whole new beginning. You know, you got this conclusion. You got your back to the past and you're moving on. Some of you, you could have had someone that was moved on, you know, moved on from you as well. But, you know, it goes both ways, right? Either way, we've moved on from each other or <clears throat> moved on from others that we've outgrown. What else? Yeah, you're ready to experience the only way you can learn and cultivate a lot of mastery and power and wisdom is to experience you you've already you've already come to a place of experience and now you're ready see you're ready to see how far you can go through doing it right no story no person's other experience through their mouth can take away from actually going out and doing it on your own and you're more than capable. But don't be too hard on yourself, Scorpio. Don't try to perfect things right away. You know, you're completing something, writing something new in your life. <clears throat> so allow yourself to scribble and make mistakes. You know, erase it, rewrite it. Because it's your book. It's your beginning. You're not going to be perfect anyways. But go for it. Because you're ready. Some of you are, you know, it might be interesting because for some of you, it's like you may have <clears throat> friends or family members or young ones that might be departing from home. Maybe they're, you know, transitioning to the next phase of their development or whatnot. And you've got to trust that they're, they're going to do the good deeds and things, you know. They're also going to make mistakes as well, but, you know, 
Um, I feel that it's time to just know that you've done really good work and then just rest and relax more, you know? Don't keep working, working, working and pushing, pushing and feel like you have to do everything for everyone all the time. What else? Because <clears throat> it's time for you to experience something, you know, that's your own individual thing right now. Success. <laughs> and you got conclusion. You've got congratulations. There could be something about graduation, you know. I was seeing the word graduation. <clears throat> I mean, you're graduating from the next phase to a new phase in your life. So some of you, yes, you could be receiving recognition or awards here or a certificate of some kind saying a stamp of approval, right? You're now, you know, got this title that you need, but know that you are design and made for success. This is why you are in tuned with your inner compass. Your inner compass is saying something's missing here. Okay. It looked really good at first, but something is still lacking. Something is still lacking and we need to go find it. So trust that you have success in doing so. It doesn't mean you're, it doesn't mean you're longing and you're finding it. Just, you just know that you're just ready to experience whatever life and destiny has, has to offer you. <clears throat> okay, what else? Blue flame, connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. So we're loving ourselves. we're igniting. Oh, there's another card that wants to come out with that. I was just looking, I was just seeing two flames, a blue flame and a red flame here. So hmm, there could be something with, you know, temperance, moderation, um, wait, uh, waiting and knowing that an opportunity is coming your way. Oh, look at that. Cause you're going to be celebrating, celebrate your achievements. My goodness. Look at that success. Okay. Celebrate your achievements. You truly are a gift to the universe. Oh my goodness. See, and you're going to find just how powerful and gifted you are. If you have to celebrate in silence and by yourself, then do so. But just know that you're on track here for achievement, celebration. Here you are, you know, celebrating the love around you. What else? Scorpio, here you are again too. I feel a lot of, see, there's this other thing that's going on. It's like we're moving, but then we got that, ten, the 10 of wands was right in front of the moving card. And then look, the Knight of cups. And then we're like seven of wands is like blocked. Um, hmm. This is really about, um, voiding out external voices because we have to listen. You have to listen to your inner cup. You have to listen to your heart. Let's get a little bit more to what's going on here because I see you in the position of the Knight of Cups, which is you. This is uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do see something about feeling blocked in love or, you know, maybe some of you, it's like you, you're hanging on to something and you could, you know, we may need to let someone in here for some of you guys, okay? But let's get a little bit more too because I do feel there's a lot going on with you as being a messenger or receiving divine messages as well. You're utilizing a lot of your spiritual gifts, okay? So there's a lot that this night is trying to tune into. So I do feel we're blocking out distractions or the voices of others right now. <clears throat> I need more of this for Scorpio. Now I do see we have a defender here as well. So yeah, we could be protected from some type of outside external, um, you know, forces here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Be fearless and bold. I mean, look at the seven of wands and here you are. Oh my goodness, you are being fearless and bold. Like you're just going for things, okay? You're moving and grooving. It's like, hmm, 
you're muting i see you're just muting out what's necessary <laughs> listening to your heart your intuition yes open to infinite possibility okay starfish to me really represents following your inner compass because like starfish has to feel <clears throat> their way through they don't have eyeballs okay now some of you too pay attention not to get too overly um consumed just take it if it resonates um, you know, with achievement status, you know, the outer appearance of things too much. We have to have balance. This is why I feel um, temperance is actually here too, energetically. I know it's not here physically in the card, but it is here energetically. So Sagittarius is coming through because I do feel that there's something strong about tempering that as well, right? Um, okay. But also starfish is, you know... <clears throat> radiating some type of star quality <laughs> and really it's like you know you may have admirers that you may need to just kind of you know be thankful but we may need to just block out distractions uh, for the time being here because there's something really important here about you and going with the current of your own uh, rhythm and soul right now not the current of others <clears throat> or things Oh, I was getting, oh yeah, we already, did, we already got that. Okay, well, let's see, what else? All belonging. Mm -hmm. You're being brought to a very special place. See, this is the thing. You may have felt a little out of place or that you don't belong, right? It's like, man, is it is it like happening again? Is this happening again, you know? No, what's happening is you're, you're getting it aligned with the right situation because you're always belonging no matter where you're at, okay? But you do, I don't know, in a sense, you do belong to a sacred society in a sense, okay? Not saying it's any, anything better. I'm just, I'm just saying, it, you know, just saying what it is. <laughs> so there is a special place for you trust where you're being navigated trust where your mind and your heart is going some of you it's you know you could literally be physically moving or you're just moving on energetically emotionally mentally physically you know obviously because we're we might even be you know just uh gaining more stamina in a way too because some of you you could be into like bodybuilding or strength training or some of that or you might be getting into that okay so there's an, then that would be a great thing to do because as you strengthen yourself you strengthen you know, your spiritual self as well it all goes hand in hand so yeah you're going you're you're going into the right place here it's right where you belong and see i can see you're in this house celebrating what else i can see you having a lot a lot of the things that you want in your house or your ideal home or environment oh my gosh look self-love is going to be really important okay because we are in a place of leaving what we once may have enjoyed and loved or you know whatever it was but you know here it is here's that you see that missing one oh my gosh look at it it's right here boom <laughs> because we're willing to go get it that's the key and when you believed so trust you're having success with your own internal love and the love that's going to be revealing itself in your outer world feeling provided for yeah a lot of you i mean look we're we're getting to the place of two extremes here we're just extremely exhausted or tired and it's time to feel fill up oops cancer pisces scorpio with the ace of cups new beginnings true love true fulfillment spiritual access to insights that you didn't even know existed new awareness what else <clears throat> i'm also visioning like hawkeye a hawk focus here with that knight of cups too so stay focused here 
Yeah, you're reclaiming your power. Man, I love this. Look at this panther spirit. See, you feel like you are. You're like kind of going in the shadows of things right now. And you are listening to yourself, regardless of what others may think or feel. You know, you're just reclaiming your power, which, by the way, can be really triggering for others if, you know. But, you know, the thing is, is that's not your problem either. I always say that because it really isn't. Um, now, how you react to it can make a difference too. You just react with love and compassion, you know. There's nothing that you know one person can't have right but we all have to remember that you know we're all a part of a big whole thing here right but we're also so different and unique so what one what what excuse me what one wants another doesn't even care to have <laughs> okay so that's that's a beautiful thing right but what you care to have is being in your power reclaiming your power and you know what? Oh my goodness, here you are. You're like demanding. And this is what's so awesome. You're demanding to have your cup filled the right way. Look, these are all empty cups here. You took, you know, you took your cup <laughs> going, no, I want, I want, I want to get my cup filled up here. And look, heaven brings it to you, hands it to you. Reclaim your power. Do all that you can to stay strong and resilient, especially in the face of opposition or <clears throat> ad, um, adversaries. What else for Scorpio? Yeah, I, I feel that there was something here that didn't quite work out right, but don't be fooled by the surface of things. And, and I'm not saying you are a fool, okay? Or don't be... Don't be fooled that you are not going to get what you want or deserve, okay? But we may need to envision something in our mind's eye first. But look at this. I see the Eight of Cups, and I'm seeing Eight here. So, and then we got that Moon energy. There could be something here with breaking cycles, pattern. Well, yeah, obviously, we just got that relationship patterns. But <clears throat> just because something didn't work out in, in the way that you thought it would doesn't mean it's not going to work out. So keep strong with your vision. See, this is what you're doing in, in your position of the Knight of Cups, is you are staying strong to your vision, your inner vision. And this is what makes it this all of this distractions. It's like hitting the mute button. <laughs> it just doesn't, doesn't even phase you. You know who and what you are. You know what you deserve. You know your power. It's like you, you were willing to be in the, the first phase of a little kitten here, and now you've grown up to a beautiful panther. Wow. <laughs> no, it's like more than that. I know that was a little kitty, like, wow. But anyhow, I'm not going to go trying to roar like a panther or a lion or a tiger. I don't know how they do it anyhow. Okay, what else for Scorpio? There could be something with dressing up, Scorpio, just to make yourself feel good. I mean, take that if it resonates. I was, I'm just seeing you in a possible like formal wear, formal gown, or maybe wearing something that just makes you feel really good and beautiful or handsome. Okay, do it. Just to wear it around your damn house. Just who cares? I know you got something in your closet that you love wearing. You want, you've been waiting to wear it. <laughs> you might as well just wear it now. Dance in it now. Do something in it. <laughs> okay. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. Don't you ever think you are such a tiny little thing. No, you're, and I know a lot of you don't, but sometimes we get hit with those hard currents, especially, you know, water signs getting hit with those hard currents. But see... You're right in your, you're right in your, um, uh, what, what do I want to say? You're right at home here <laughs> in your water element. You know how to go with the flow here and trust that you are a channel through which healing and divine energy messages, creativity, whatever it is, reaches the world. Okay. What else? Oh, Page of Pentacles. Yes, 
We got a new beginning. We got some good news, good luck. Oh, you are gonna be getting to know each other. Take your time. Oh, someone wants to really spend some time with you or you'll be spending some time with maybe a new project, uh, you know, friendship. But I do see something strong about intimacy and allowing it to grow. There could be something with armed forces or just military. I don't know why armed forces just came out, but you know, whatever. I mean, there's something about an arm. I don't know, arm, strong arm, strong arm and force. Yeah, okay, anyhow, get to know each other, learn to meet another's need for love, okay? So expect some kind of good gesture or kind gesture for someone. I feel that some of you may even get some... Um, some type of like financial relief as well okay so it's like a little bit of good luck here all right what else that taurus virgo capricorn with the page of pentacles yeah and also you know you you want to take your time too with something because some of you could be studying something at the same time as well you know you could just be studying yourself okay um there's going to be some type of abundant harvest in your life you just there's something about controlling energy and um you know conserving your resources wisely Oh gosh, I'm glad I said that. So we don't want to do anything foolish here. So the seven of swords, there could be a conclusion and truth here about this seven of swords. Hmm. See your light, know your power. Look, reclaim your power. Don't give in to the lies, right? That the ego likes to say, especially when things don't work out. You know, there could be something here too where <clears throat> we are, we're dealing with someone that's just not able to be honest. Let's get a little bit more with the uh, Seven of Swords, please. We've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You know what's weird? It's like, I'm, I'm like noticing it's like, it's not even, something's not true here because it's like, these are real swords, but these look like fake swords. They're like plastic black ones instead of like being real ones. Hmm. Live your truth. Oh my goodness. This is okay. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. Quit running away from something, you, you know, for some of you and quit hiding yourself. Some of you, you might be playing it smaller than you need to. Um, but also, you know, here you are just living your truth. Even if others aren't being so truthful, you can be that. Okay. And that's exactly what you're going to um, attract into your life. Now, I will say for some, you could, you know, be open to possibly apologies or maybe somebody who, <clears throat> something or someone, or maybe it could even be yourself where you want to reveal, you know, something hidden, you know, and be transparent about a situation. What else? <clears throat> and it's all about love here. So don't, don't, I mean, this is a card of lies. Don't cheat yourself out of love or deserving of what you deserve. Yeah, see, you're magnificent. Some of you, come on, what is going on? Don't let this, this little thing take away your energy. You are amazing, magnificent, and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. Oh my goodness. See, you're enough. It's almost, you know what I'm getting here to <clears throat> take this if it resonates, because I know it will for some of you. Okay. Especially the ones that um, felt like you got rejected or something or, or denied here. It's almost like somebody was so busy playing with uh, stones that they lost a, you know, a diamond, right? Because <laughs> those are plastic black swords I'm seeing. And like, oh, I think these are good. Let me take off with this. And then, you know, playing with stones, too busy playing with other stones that they well, got caught up and sidetracked and lost a diamond. So you're this magnificent diamond. Um, but don't be fooled either here in a sense. You know, if it was a person or you felt uh, denied in something or a position, don't worry. It's because there's a better position or a better person for you. The truth is going to reveal itself. The truth always comes out, <laughs> especially when you walk your own truth and demand truth. It just reflects back to you. 
What else for Scorpio? Oh, beauty. Yes. There's something internal about you that's very beautiful here. Never forget this, please. You know, your imperfections or what we perceive as our imperfections is really beauty here, right? Every rose has its thorn, right? We, we have to go through struggles, pain, opposition, so that we know how beautiful we really are in our place, our own belonging. Here you are blossoming and blooming like a beautiful rose because you're paying attention to transforming or looking at yourself and others and your environment in the eyes of beauty. So pay attention to these things right now that reflect beauty in your life. Take time to smell the sweetness that's going on too but you are this reflection of beauty. I mean, look, radiating here with that Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups. So it's hard to radiate when we got too much in front of us, too much on our plate, right? What else? Oh, Queen of Swords. See, you're cutting it out. And you're figuring something out too. Some of you just remain focused too when it comes to your career path or, you know, making some final decisions. Stay focused though. I feel a lot of you are getting to the bottom of something or coming to the truth here. We may need to be above our emotions in a situation too. Let's get a little bit more with the Queen of Swords. Because the Queen of Swords is quite direct. And, and I feel some of you are being asked to, you know, be a little direct if you need to, right? Like it really is time to, you know, see the truth. Maybe the lies that others, you know, want to weave around themselves. Or maybe, you know, lies are old things that we've even, you know, done to our own self, right? <laughs> maybe just because we just grow and evolve as a soul. There's nothing wrong with that. But we are seeing the truth or coming into a realization of, you know, what's been taken and what we deserve. Okay, so this is for the Queen of Swords. Wow, she, that's kind of funny. I put her right in between the Seven of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. I feel it's like Lady of Justice here, standing in her truth, demanding to be, you know, in a place of respect and honor. Yeah, and you're seeing the bigger picture. You're rising above something here. So there's something strong about you uh, remaining positive, seeing the big picture, especially when it comes to others, relationships, and yes, even career, work, things like that. Rising up from things here. So I feel that you're gonna be making a decision here or you're gonna be rising up and seeing something very clear here. This one is a takeaway and this one is a giver, you know? What else? Love endures. Mm -hmm. Love does not give up or lose faith. Yeah, we're not going to we're not going to give up. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. See, I feel, you know, you're being tough right now. I know it might be hard, but you know, stay strong in your heart have compassion for others right now, especially for, you know, for those that are surrounded by others and maybe friends, family members that, you know, it's been a little bit challenging. Just be kind to yourself, let it go, you know, and, and just see what happens when you give all of your energy to love and see yourself get a lot more stronger too, right? You're not going to feel so depleted and weak here. So this love is what helps keep you moving forward with strength, fortitude, power. What else? Okay, there's something was leaking. Oh my God, okay, weird. I was getting this thing about, you're like, 
something was like leaking, feeling leaking and maybe depleting. There, you know what's weird? Okay, well, it's not really weird now that I'm thinking about it. Some of you may need to, you, you, you absolutely, Scorpio, you may need to rise up from some earthly matters or some other things and really pay attention to what's going on around you with others. I feel like it's almost like, um, you know, like if you poke something in a, a balloon or let's just say po poke something in a big inflatable thing or whatever, and it's like, you know, poke it with like a little needle and it's slowly deflating, deflating slowly, but you can, you can't find that hole, like where the hell is it? So this, that's what I'm like getting this thing. It's like, we might not realize that something could be taking away on your energy here. And you've got to, you know, if you're too focused on getting things done, doing this, have to do this, you know, you could be not seeing and noticing like some type of vampire, like type of energy going on. Okay. Um, so just pay attention to that. So anyhow, express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. So this is a time where, you know, you're, you're meant to feel nurtured and love, be open to receiving and giving gifts. So we're just going to do things. Look at that. And I do see you giving or receiving some type of gift here with this page of pentacles. This is an offering of a gift. Now take this if it resonates too for those Scorpios that might have to work with team members or employees or maybe something here with, you know, just a recognizing, um, you know, their efforts and, and giving them a little token of appreciation. Okay. But you're meant to express love in all kinds of different and creative ways, not in just one demanding way. And I'm not saying that you're demanding it in one way, but maybe, you know, that's what it felt like for you uh, with others, right? Okay, what else? Yeah, you're getting wary. You're getting wary of a situation. I can already tell, like, I'm already drained. <laughs> Life is a mystery. Give in to that, right? You're a lot, you're, you're a lot more powerful than you realize. And you don't need to have, you know, your physical eyes to sense what's really going on. Open to the infinite possibility. Let life surprise you. Let yourself, you know, if this starfish was a, a, a star in the heavens, let yourself find your place in the heavens and shine bright in your place. What else? Oh, forgiveness. Yeah, nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. Oh, okay. That could be what's hang what what's, you know, burdening us here, right? What's been like lingering here. Nothing is gained by holding on to those past disappointments. And that really is the truth. It's a energy sucker, a time waster. And this is where you're flourishing. I mean, look at the queen of swords with all the roses. Oh my goodness. So there's something beautiful happening with having experience because you appreciate things so much more. And when you do, you attract those things as well towards you. And I do feel that there is real forgiveness here with you and another. But if that doesn't happen with you and another, you're, you're really coming into a place of forgiving what needs to be forgiven. Because you're, 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 you know better to set your soul free. And you know what you deserve. I know that some of you guys were really hurt here because we, we dealt with a very deceptive or maybe, you know, cheating energy here, right? Somehow they, they, they took something away from you. What else? Love is all around. Oh my goodness. This is like another card with love is all around. Just start noticing it, right? Pay attention to the songs you're listening to, the, um, the influence you're listening to, the media you're listening to. Are you listening to your own soul's rhythm? I know you are because <laughs> it's loud and clear. <laughs> Oh, you got love coming in and swarming around. And it's kind of funny because you're, 
you may even be where um, I feel, oh, well, who was this? Possibly Sagittarius, where there were like a threshold of what was and what's uh, to come here. So you're just embracing the in-between and you really ha are uh, getting into a place of having to have courage to stay strong. But love is surrounding you. Love is surrounding you because you're inviting it. What else? Love who you are. See, I mean, you're inviting it. And I see a lot of you really experiencing self-love in a whole new way. Mm -hmm. Now, if you haven't felt like you've been loving on yourself, you need to, okay? It's not about conceit. It's not about being vain. You know, you do this privately, obviously, right? And you're not like, oh, I'm better. <laughs> I'm not saying that you you, you do that. But, um, you know, self-love isn't about looking in the mirror and saying how beautiful or handsome you are. Self-love is, you know, doing these things, getting in, getting good a good night's sleep, uh, taking care of your hygiene, you know, maybe pampering yourself with something, eating, you know, your meals, um, eating healthy for the most part, because I know, you know, it's life. We can't always eat healthy all the time. <laughs> but anyhow, you know what I'm saying? It's because you are a divine and delight. You're, di you're divine. You're delightful and deserving of wonderful things life has, has to offer. Don't, don't let something or a situation tell you otherwise. Love who you are and stand in your own beauty and grace and be powerful. You're just, you know, in this, this, some of you really are, it's like you're this maybe hidden star, <laughs> you know? So there's, there are going to be eyes on you. There's no doubt about that. There's this, you know, intensity that you carry with you. That's very alluring and powerful. And a lot of you, you know how to use it wisely. So continue to do that. What else for Scorpio and the other, and others of you, you're just like figuring this power out. So, you know, practice makes perfect. Oh, you, you got a little, you got a little stung too. Mm -hmm. Which is funny. Wasp spirit actually showed up on my window seal today. No, oh my gosh. It was so funny. I actually decided to open up my windows and look and lay on the bed because uh, I found a spot that was like perfect for cloud watching. It didn't, it didn't last too long, just a little bit, but it was, it was nice. <laughs> and there was a wasp on my windowsill. Anyhow, Zeus was there. He's the one that uh, spots, he, he spot that wasp out. But um, wasp is another energy of like a divine feminine, a very powerful divine feminine force, whether you're male or female, because there's something very strong with that, a, a sense of fortitude that is very... Um, you know, it, it goes, it goes maybe unnoticed in the physical realm, but it certainly never goes unnoticed in the spiritual realm. So when you can love and let go and just know that, yeah, life does sting, but it's what we do with that sting that counts. So just believe in yourself, continue to believe in yourself and attract success wherever you go. Okay. Know that there's a strong warrior within you for a reason, okay? I feel a lot of you are in a place, too, that you could really <clears throat> um, be set or good with your finances if you, you know, start preparing and doing the right things. Maybe there is something with starting a little savings account or maybe an investment or retirement or something like that for some of you. But start building yourself first, right? Right? Be an active participant in the choices that you decide to do that show yourself that you're deserving and that you do love yourself, right? Taking on um, ideas or routines that are healthy, positive, good. What else? <clears throat> mm. We're trapped. We could be trapped feeling stung here. This is like eight of swords though, too. And you know, the thing is, is it's possible that this raven 
didn't know that they were in a uh, cage all this time, <laughs> you know? Oh. Some of you guys are trapped by the circumstances. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm hearing. You're trapped by circumstances, but it's because we're so focused on the circumstances. Um, now, let's get a little bit more too with this trapped. There is a way out. Because there is a door on this um, birdcage. Let's get a little bit more with this trapped card. Be supportive. Okay, so it is about, okay. Some of you might be trapped in, in feeling like you can't make a kind gesture because you've been hurt or something has happened here. And yeah, you know, there was a, a time, a period of that, but don't trap yourself by not getting back out there and feeling that, you know, comfort and that embrace with another, right? So be supportive, make a genuine effort to show that you care, rest and relax, <laughs> rest and relaxation is essential. Yeah, some of you guys, and I feel that you feel a little burden here by something here. We just totally feel trapped, but you know, we all have the fundamental need to take a break. Maybe that's just what it is, is just being break. Now, if you, if you don't have anything or anyone, which I don't, you know, I hope not, but you know, whoever is in your life, whatever, show genuine effort that you care and also be open to receiving genuine support from another. Cause I feel for some of you Scorpios, you know, you're a little bit stubborn in a way where I feel like you, you think you, you know, can take care of it all, but you know, you need to open up to support here. Because this is what's going to set you free. Okay, let's see. What else for Scorpio? Wow, Scorpio, there's been a lot going on with you. And here you are. Oh my gosh. Look, letting go. And then this rigid, you know, we're letting go of a wall that we've built up. Now take time to figure out if you have built a wall. Um, you know, you may have forgotten that you can fly. This is what I always get with this card. And and it's so funny because um, it seems to be like double ravens coming out too. Um, when one raven comes out, another one comes out. So that's really interesting. So I feel that, you know, birds of a feather flock together. So if you're, if you're, you're you know, there's something inside here where we have to change something. So take down your walls. I feel that's exactly what's going on here is like, some of you, you just take down your walls and be open to some type of kind gesture here. Okay. You've, you've had experience. Yes. You've had this experience of hurt, betrayal or whatever, but it's through this, that's going to make, um, you know, the next thing or the next experience so much more, um, beneficial. You really do need to rest and relax. Okay. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Scorpio have to look forward to in the near future? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. This is weird. It's like uh, Forbidden and Grove. Some of you guys, you saw, oh, some of you, especially if you felt you did the wrong thing or... Um, Maybe you didn't have access to something. Well, you will have access it to now. And I also want to say spirits helping a lot of you release shame or regret or, um, you know, feeling like you made a mistake on something here and really healing something that may have felt forbidden, right? So what you have to look forward to is coming to a place where we have freedom, where we don't have a blocked um, door, a block a blockage in front of us anymore because remember I kept, we kept seeing that block in front of you. But spirit is helping you seeing too that if there was a block, it was probably uh, for the best. When one door opens or doesn't open, another one will. The one that we don't have to force open. Let's see how spirit is helping you currently. Demonstrating love. Yeah, just getting back to, 
you know, being comfortable with doing small, kind gestures because yes, we've been hurt. We've been having to, you know, hold back on that, right? But now you can, you can free yourself, uh, Scorpio. It's safe for you to show love and affection uh, with others. Find out what is important to those um, you love and act on it. So there also may be a sense of taking focus off of oneself disappointments or something that could be trapping you and just put your focus on service, love of others, um, and watch all that other stuff start to figure itself out or dissolve. Okay. So spirit is just helping you demonstrate love and to receive love and finding out what's most important for others and yourself. Love and light. Take care.